wow. Look how tiny I am. One thing I don't, I definitely bug, bugs me about this game is that he has to be standing in a certain place to look at stuff. Hey, so like, hey, the new blimp is already in full operation. Let's just hope they fill it with something non-flammable this time. You don't kill the cats. It only goes to the land of the living, and there's nothing for me there. Like I went to look, and he had to walk all the way from here to here to look at it, and it was just, just a matter of waiting, which is not ideal, you know. All right, what's over here now? I know that statue's supposed to mean something about justice, but I don't know. Could be a statue of a famous Olympic gymnast, I guess. <laughs> I got a maze of staircases. Oh boy. All right. Oh, this is probably the like blimp office. What a horrible jail cell. Or and jail. Again, you sure taught Gladys a lesson that time. Reward offered for cargo stolen from shipyard receiving area, including a large suitcase bearing the initials HL. Reward offered for car. I think I can remember that. I think I can remember that. Okay, I gotta Reward remember that. Reward offered for cargo stolen from shipyard receiving area. Only police chief Bogan knows how not picking that up. Okay, so there's a jail. Police chief Bogan knows how to get into the jail cell. That's all I got for right now. What is here? Late night at the morgue, isn't it, Mimbrio? The morgue? You know I can't sleep with John Doe's on the slab, Manny. If I don't ID these Rose Gardens tonight, I won't be ready for the two that come in tomorrow. And before you know it, I'm up to my ass in his areas. <laughs> So, this is kind of reinforcing that thing. When you die, you turn into, like, a flower garden because Any your leads? skeleton is I all... I know it's a poor coroner who blames his tools. Your fertilizer. But how am I supposed to turn up anything with the equipment they give me? Hey, I had a government job for years, man. I know how you feel. What a sad story. These stew sprouted and no one came down to claim them? Death makes sad stories of us all. How's business? Booming, unfortunately. More crime every day. And more and more sproutings like these. Something's happening back in El Moro, I think. And its dark hand is finally reaching us here in Rubacava. What exactly are you looking for? I'm digging for a treasure that part of me does not wish to find. For when I uncover that sad doubloon that tells me who this poor soul is, my reward is not riches, but the chance to make a phone call and break somebody's heart. Of course, with this equipment, the search could go on for some time. So he's looking for better equipment. Can I help? Sure. Grab hold of this leaf right here. Manny? I can't do it. I know. I was just testing. How do you do this job? Without becoming jaded, you mean? My secret to happiness, Manuel, is that I have the heart of a 12-year-old boy. I keep it over here in a jar. Would you like to see it? <laughs> no. Sorry, <laughs> old car and a joke. <laughs> oh, that really got me. Do you ever worry that your job is getting to you, Mimbrio? Well, forensic botany is a trying job, Manny. But have you ever spent much time here with a florist? In life, they became florists because they love flowers. But here, a flower is a symbol of pain of death within death, their conflicted feelings build and build, and eventually they become quite mad. Thanks for the tip. I guess I'll send balloon bouquets from now on. 
And Rio, why do you stay in town? Why don't you head off toward the Ninth Underworld? Manny, you can only search for something for so many years before you stop believing in it altogether. You don't believe in the Ninth Underworld? Why do you think we're all here in Rubakava? Because you're waiting to earn off your time, or you can't afford passage, or... Manny, we've given up. All of us. When you've been here long enough, you will too. Well, don't let me bother you. Always nice to have visitors. So he is looking for better Deacon tools. Flower bed is Membrio's job, not mine. To ID these people with. I love that he's using like a gardening trowel. Is there an open? There's an open window. It's empty. Oh. Hey, should I close this? No. I'm trying to air it out. Not picking that up. What's in it's there? It's empty. Only until I finish up here. Oh, these are their, like, body... things. Okay. Well, that's what's going on down there. What is over this way? There are so many things to see. Whoa! Whoa! Huge elevator! What the heck? Oh, I'm in another new place! At the blue casket! Blue casket. Just doesn't have the zing of Calavera Cafe, you know? Agreed, Manny. Agreed. Oh, it's the... The old hipster beatnik bar. Hi, what's your name? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they don't want to talk, buddy. But don't you see? When the government fades away, so will our troubles. Ah, nonsense. We will always need some armed force to fight off the return of capitalism. That sort of fascist thinking is as dead as you are, comrade. When we get rid of all the guns, that's when people will begin to self-police. And the public opinion alone will keep them from committing crimes. Hola, trust funders. Hey, look who's making the scene. It's Manny Calavera, the up, the down, the backside of the nouveau riche. Oh Be my god. Dinner jacket. We're talking about things you wouldn't understand, like truth and beauty. Wow, I hate Labor these guys. Labor organization and revolt made easy. Hey, can I borrow this book? Why? So you can freak out our plans for organizing labor and go rat us out to your pal, Chief Bogan? Hey, I'm just looking for something to read on the can, all right? No dice, Cumberbund. Hey, no... Okay, so I want to get them to... I want to borrow that book, maybe for union labor hey, stuff. Hey, look, deadbeats. Oh my Hi, god, they're deadbeats. Oh, I didn't even get that pun. That's incredible. That's an incredible pun. They're deadbeats. They're deadbeatniks. They're deadbeats. Oh my god. What are you doing here? A pun this makes me go so much for happy. Pictures, except maybe of Lenin. Shh. Manny, I'm on a stakeout. I'm going to prove to Maximino once and for all that Olivia's no good for him. Still hung up on Max, eh? Take my advice, Angel. Forget about him. He's a gambling racketeer. <laughs> like you. Oh, that hurts, baby. Hey, shh. Here they come. Come on, sugar. How about a kiss for the road? Oh, ick. Don't let me down, Nick. You're a lawyer. You're not supposed to have feelings. I don't, but I know a good tart when I see one. Hey! If Maximino sees that, we're going to end up in matching terracotta pots. Don't be silly. He wouldn't hurt me. He loves me. Uh... What the heck? Manny, at last we're alone. Tell me, how are the bourgeoisie? Fine. <laughs> How's Max? Oh, Gramps, don't start. What are you doing with a snake like Nick? I'd lay it on you, Manny, but uh, I don't think you'd get it. Messing around with your boyfriend's lawyer is pretty dangerous. Oh, maybe I was wrong. You do get it. I'm a little worried about Lola. That's because she's doomed, Manny. She fell in love with Maximino. That's the one mistake I never made. Do you think Nick would hurt her? Only if he finds her, and take it from me. 
He's not good at finding things. Open mic night seems like a big hit. It always takes those timid souls a while to get up the nerve. Maybe it would help if you went up there and started things rolling. Oh, Manny, read poetry in my own club? That would be like this whole place was just a big temple set up to worship me. Oh, come. Okay. Alive. We slept. That was easy. Life's just, just some, some rapid eye movement in a warm, cozy bed. Buried. We wake. The flesh dream is over, Daddy. Now that we're all crazy dead. That was There great. we go. Yeah, but that's the last one. A little dark in here, don't you think? Dark and cold, like the hearts of men. Uh... You know, I'm thinking of buying this place. Really? I thought about buying yours for a while. But then I just decided to ask my boyfriend, Max, to buy it for me. Hey, how about another boom? Okay. Ashes to ashes. Oh, that was to ashes, not hard. To ashes, to ashes, to ashes, to ashes, to ashes, to me. To ashes, to ashes, to ashes, to ashes. So, that's a thing. I can get her to read poetry. Yeah. You met yourself? Why are you? Johnny Law, baby. You see, I'm a grifter. I'm bad news. Yeah, right. You're running after that ghost chick everyone says you're still so uptight about. Well, I have a poem I wrote just for you. Pay attention because it's pretty short. Here it goes. Ch ah, 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 ah. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, burn. Well, catch you later, hip chick. Keep practicing that lingo, man. You'll get it. Parted the snowplow. Um, so I gotta get her to... There's something I have to do while she's reading a poem at some point. What is this guy doing? Just a dab will drop you. Hey man, you didn't see me put the secret ingredient in these coffin shooters, did you? Relax. Olivia stole the recipe from me in the first place. Oh, I'm making yeah. drinks. Yeah. She steals from the rich and gives to me to pour. Oh, nice. Coffin shooters, that is... A great name for a drink. Okay, what is there in the kitchen for me to do? I don't get the feeling those cleaning supplies are used much or let the waiter clean up after himself. I don't really need a bunch of cleaning supplies. Okay, if you say so. Uh, what else is there in here? Nothing in the dishwasher. Not to sound like a capitalist, not portable. Okay. The sink is full of dirty hookah water. I'm not going to drink dirty hookah water, and I can't carry it with my bare hands. I can't carry it with These my bare hands are, means... I'm not going to eat off of dirty plates. Means... I'm not going to clean them. I'm going to come back and... Supplies. Do I have any kind of container to fill that water up with? That's what that was telling me. I don't. Unless... This is gross, but... I don't really want to do that. Okay, so... Here's the waiter now. Oh, they're doing their coffin whatever shots. Coffin shooters. Oh. Wow. They can't handle it. Can't handle my secret recipe. I don't really want to do that. Hello. Yeah, they are out. All right. Hmm. No effect. All right. Well, this is this place, the blue casket, which I think is probably the. Oh no! No, I came down the elevator. There's still more places to go. Oh, I. Oh, I finally a place I think I recognize. Oh, another new thing. But that's the lighthouse, so this is kind of similar. You know, I love exploring and... 
Oh, that's a B? I'm supposed to get CB gear, CB equipment? That was a, these are CBs, I bet. Oh my god, they're CBs. They're CBs! Hey, CBs. Cold one, huh, Terry? Yeah, it's always cold when you're unemployed, Manny. Who's unemployed? Aren't you guys in the union? The union? <laughs> they don't look after us, little guys. They're run by the coppers. And you of all people should know, Manny, that the cops are in bed with the gambling joints. Hey, I run an honest joint. We ain't in bed with nobody. What about the protection money? We pay every week. On the nose, through the nose, like an honest place should. See what I mean? This town is just a big conga line of hustlers, all laughing and dancing and scratching each other's backs. Why aren't you guys up there working? You don't know the deal down here on the docks, do you, Manny? If you want to get the jobs, you have to pay the unions extra dues. And that ain't cheap. We don't pay, and so they put us on barrel duty. Why don't you just pay the union off, then? We got our pride, Manny. We're straight stingers, you know? Not to mention we just don't have any cash to spare now that we're not working. I mean, it's like a problem. We're, uh, uh the solution it makes the problem, uh, worse. Like a catch-22? Yeah, wow. I wish I knew words like that. If the union is crooked, why don't you register a complaint? <laughs> That's a good one, Manny. Did you hear that, guys? He thinks we should register a complaint. You bees are being exploited. You should do something about it. Yeah, what can we do? We're just a handful of unorganized drones. We don't know nothing about nothing except just how to take it on a chin. I think you're just a bunch of complainers. You don't know what it's like, man. Every day we come down here, we try and make an honest living. We find out that you gotta be a crooked bee to win down here. He knocks the pollen out of you, man. He makes you weak. Since you're not using your tools, think I could borrow them? Well, we sold them to feed our families. Then how are you ever gonna work? I, I told you things were messed up down here, man. I, I told you. If the cops own the union, and gambling's in bed with the cops. Yeah, yeah, and then who really runs the gambling, right? Well, no offense, but uh, Max Amino is really the big boy in town, obviously. But word is, he gets his orders from some hardcore gangsters in El Mero. Yeah, that fancy cat track is really just a big laundromat, if you get my drift. Okay, we're getting to some hey, can accomplishing I things. One of your union cards? What are you kidding? You know how much I had to pay Chow Chilla Charlie to get mine? You guys know a seaman, Naranja? Nah, CBs and sailors don't mix. But you're in the same union. Well, maybe so, but some traditions are sacred there, Manny. You bees gotta be strong. Things just aren't the way they should be down here, Manny. It's like the worker bees, they do all the work. But we can't affect the, uh, the, uh... Ah, it's like the way that things are produced should be controlled by... I mean, we should... Ah! Forget it. I'm just a dumb, hungry, out-of-work bee. All right, mm, so... These bees, the, what's the buzz? Yeah, it's bad. It's like we like... you Easy. Okay, so... The bees sold their tools to feed their families. So I can't get the tools from the bees. I gotta get the tools from somewhere else. Did I go here? This is the lighthouse. Let's head on to the lighthouse. And then I think we will have gotten close to exploring most of this place, but not all of it yet. It's locked. Of course it's locked. Is there anything behind it? Doesn't look like it. All right. All right, let me, uh, I think past the sea bees, I went towards the sea bees. On the other way, there was, um, there was two paths. This one, this goes back to the, this thing, the blue casket. All right. And, um, oh, the elevator. I got in the elevator and I think I passed something else. Let me get back in here. See where that goes, but I'm starting to get a picture in the, the mind's eye of where everything is, at least. So that's a start. Okay, I came from there. This is the jail and the 
morgue. What is up here? Calavera Cafe. All right. We walked in a big circle. The biggest of circles. Right? This is where I started. The biggest of circles. Oh, because I fell. I fell off of that and ended up at the bottom and had to walk my way up to the top. That's what happened. But I would like to go back to see more of the... Oh, man, that's a long walk. How do I get back over here? There was the cat track? I didn't actually get to see the cat track, and I wanted to see the cat track. I left it too soon. Alright, let's walk across this big giant bridge. <clears throat> under the Zeppelin. Which apparently goes back to the land of the living? Which is... Which is a bit interesting. I didn't... I, is that how they, like, ferry the souls? Or ferry the... the people down? I don't know. That's a bit odd. Anyway, upstairs is the woman with the metal detector who I took. This guy is giving away cat hats. Smitten kitten! Is this the same guy? Nobody there. Hello? Those are the cutest names for cats. Alright, so... Oh, wow. No betting. Okay, betting stub. Oh, he also counterfeited betting stubs with that thing. There's a bunch of things I can counterfeit. Ugh, I'm not sure what I hate more, crowds or cats, but I'm definitely not going near either All right. today. So, no cat races for me, but I would like to go to the litter box area and pick up that metal detector. Well, that's the hole I saw Carlos metal detector fall through. Oh no. Um Where is it? See, this is I'm not going. <laughs> the metal detector. Oh, he's laughing at me trying to pick up cat litter. The metal detector fell in here into the thing of cat litter. Hmm, smells good. But I'd rather I don't need the hernia. Okay, so I can't I can't get it right now. But it's in there, so at some point, that's going to have to get cleaned out. Get and, ready for the next race. and then I'll be able to get it. Alright. So, what I want to do... I think... Where do I leave? I came in here from, like, downstairs, but... I can't find my way out now. I was, like, coming from here or something. But not here. Was it there? Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, this is where I came in. That's the cat track. That's the upstairs. What's over here? Okay. Cool. And that this is... Alright. I think I've... I think... I've explored everything now. I think. I have a few ideas about what I need to do. I need to firstly go here, take this elevator back up to the cafe. And I want to talk to the guy about counterfeiting stuff. There's a few things that I think I could counterfeit that would be beneficial to me. The bees need money to buy back their equipment. I need to get the bees money to buy back their equipment. In order to do that, I could counterfeit some betting stubs. I could also rig my own roulette table. Those are both ideas. Um, because they, yeah, they need money. I also need a counterfeit union card. That's another thing he can do for me. So let me see what he has to say about all of those things. My friend, the Scammy McScammerson himself. Hey there, buddy. Manny? 
Can you make reasonable union cards? Manny, are you going to start moonlighting? Or are you just looking to hang out with the sailors? Can you do it or not? Hmm. I have a deal for you. If you can retrieve my money from Maximino, I can make you president of that crooked union. I don't need to be president. And why does Max have your money? I put a whole suit. The race was fixed, Manny. They stole my money like common thieves. Here, take this VIP pass and use nice. it to get into the High Rollers Lounge. They won't let me in there anymore. There should be a safe somewhere in the wine cellar, and my suitcase should be in it. And you can get me a card tonight. If you make it back, Manny, the card will be on the table. All right. Got ourselves a VIP lounge pass. And I know exactly where that is. Which is, I find, quite excellent. I feel proud. 